everyone's talking about the opiate situation. Let's start there. What is your what is your plan? What have you seen in West Virginia as far as the opiates and what do you think would help solve that problem? I've actually spent a lot of time with the people in the addiction community because when I first started this, I didn't feel like I knew enough. And what I'm hearing from people in the addiction community is we don't have enough treatment programs, long-term peer recovery treatment programs. There's Suboxone and Methadone. Mm -hmm. They're good temporary solutions, but you're replacing one drug with another. And we haven't, you know, the pill mills here, there's a small town um, that population, uh, Kermit, West Virginia, 983, and they shipped over a million pills, a couple million pills into one pharmacy in that community. And you look at the funders to the incumbents here, they're all in bed with big pharma. And so they've allowed it to happen. And I'm hearing from people in the addiction community that they do not have access to these long-term peer recovery programs and the funding is not going into those programs. They're going into alternate drugs. that's going back into big pharma. Gotcha. So, so this money that's been coming in needs to go into true recovery. true recovery and we need to get rid of the stigma behind the addiction epidemic. I know 80 and 90 year old women that are addicted to opioids because they trusted their medical providers. This has affected every walk of life. And we have one of the biggest addiction epidemics in this state right now. And the, what, and the, and the, to, to, to fight the war on drugs, we have to fight the war on our people. And we have to get all of this money out of big pharma and give it to the people that deserve it. So they're trying to get their lives back because they've been, they have been affected by this crisis. I love it. I love it. And and uh, when I, I heard that story last year, I think uh, I think that's when it went uh, viral, sort of about the number of pills that were being dumped into you know mm -hmm. that small town. And I, I just couldn't believe it, Paula. It always it always stuck with me. I, I don't know where you begin. I guess maybe getting money out of politics, huh? Well, you know, we definitely need to overturn Citizens United. Yeah. We, we need to sue these pharmaceutical companies, too, for shipping all Damn. these pills in here yes. and, and make sure these medical providers are responsible for what they did. Some of them got arrested, you know, like I said, but the fight begins, too, by making sure that these people have a path to recovery. Yeah. They got to have a path to recovery. Yeah, even and if you even lock up, even if you lock up the big pharmaceuticals or the doctors who are writing bogus prescriptions or whatever, the people still have addictions. So right. you're absolutely right. You still got to deal with that part. Right, right. And, and that's what stops the pills from coming in here, give mm. people access mm -hmm. to, you know, adequate pain management too, and, and get rid of the incumbents that are in bed with big pharma. That is what I want you all to do for me.